Good morning, traders. I just released a comparison video between Webull Desktop 5.0.6 and TD Ameritrade's Thinkorswim. We were just watching the one minute chart, recording everything live. It's completely unedited. You can see it right here. It's this video. So uh, check that out and you can see how the uh, charts display on one platform versus the other. I'm not even going to give you an opinion on it yet but i will say the reason why i made that is um yesterday i caught some chart glitches in weeble and recorded those and then i started a whole um conversation with weeble tech support about it and i made videos about that so you can check all those out if you want to see what's going on behind this video but i didn't want to voice over on this video or edit it or anything because i wanted it to be just completely uh, live the charts playing out live so there's no manipulation or anything like that. So that's what's going on there. And then I want to also update you on my conversation with Weeble because they, um, so this is the beginning of it yesterday. I'll just kind of scroll through it. I'm not going to read through it all. So, but you can pause and you can read, you know, what's been going on back and forth with, with, uh, Weeble tech support and myself. And then, um, I, you know, I'll say that they've been very responsive, very quick to respond to the issues. And they have sent me this message today. This is new. Our developers have watched the video you sent us and we are actively working on updating the chart display. If you'd like to test the new feature, we'll be more than happy to notify you once there's an update released shortly. Our team is also following your YouTube channel and noting down clients' suggestions on Weeble platforms. If you have any specific needs you would like addressed, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Thank you. So I, I think that's pretty sincere. I think that... Um, you know, it shows that they're really paying attention to what I, and I'm not trying to talk up Weeble here. I'm basically putting Weeble on the fence at this moment because um, if they can't get this chart glitch fixed, then it's not usable for day traders. But um, if they can, then, you know, it's an excellent platform for day trading. So it's really kind of a make or break moment right now, but it looks like they're taking it very seriously. They're listening to everyone that comments on my channel about uh, YouTube. They're obviously, sorry, about Weeble. They're obviously reading the comments and uh, taking everything very seriously. So keep that in mind when you make comments on these videos. And this was my response to that message that I would be very interested in the new feature. Looking forward to their notification. And thank you for taking notice of my YouTube channel. My goal is to be the premier YouTube channel for Weeble users. So that's where we are with this whole uh, candlestick glitch situation. And hopefully you find this video helpful. And uh, please comment on that video and let me know what you think. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about this whole situation or anything. But I just want to say right now, I'm very hopeful that Weeble is going to fix this issue. They seem to be working on it actively and trying to resolve it very quickly. This all started uh, yesterday. I mean, this is an old glitch that has been kind of an issue with Weeble since the beginning, since I've been trading with them back in uh, May of 2020. And uh, I have kind of uh, talked to them about it before in the past but never with such, um, I guess, precision and never with such good evidence, you know, like a video showing it happening. I would send screenshots or try to explain in words what was going on. And maybe the message has never got across. And now that I've sent them a video showing the glitch happening live, they seem to really understand what's going on and are working to uh, fix it immediately. So that's where we are with this. Again, let me know if you have any comments or suggestions about how to handle this or, or what you think about this whole scenario. I'd be happy to, to uh, hear your opinion on this. And hopefully the next video I release about this will be about the fix, about the update that they're talking about. So that's the goal. Let's get this fixed and uh, get back out there and start trading again on this really, I think, great platform. They just got to fix this one, one little glitch. All right, guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video.